Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 27, new season, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance. Let's take a look. I can't really read that name, TA. Um, but anyway, we're going to go in here and we're going to check out the uh, defense, the paths here. All right. Now, I usually take path three, but we are in a little state of flux. And I've already asked uh, what our plans are because I didn't know starting this war what path. Uh, as you can see, they left path two. Um, Doom is there. I can take this path. Um, and I will, uh, unless someone jumps in there and uh, takes it for me. Uh, we've got a lot of empty spots over here. So I don't think that these guys are uh, really serious or um, at least not for this first war. They may also be in a state of flux. Um, but in any case, path uh, two in section two, if I take that path, will be uh, Sasquatch here. And I used to take path two. Uh, so I, I am familiar with path two a little bit here. Uh, and I think uh, Warlock or Nick Fury for Sasquatch, um, my Black Widow Clairvoyant could handle that uh, fission uh, if need be. Um, yeah. And I'm not sure about this Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, if I'm asked to do it, uh, I could probably take that fight with Warlock. All right, and let's look at Mini Boss Island here. Again, this is a new season. We've got new people in. I'm not sure what is going to happen. Uh, in the past, I've taken uh, the left side, and I can do that Apocalypse, perhaps with a Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, that's a Rage uh, node here. So Black Widow Clairvoyant is really good for that. Uh, she can also heal up. Uh, I will try to block his specials rather than evading it, although I've been getting better at evading his specials. Uh, uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins, I could take that one with uh, Warlock. And Mangog, I'm going to let someone else take. Uh, if I do go up that side, uh, we've learned that Black Widow Clairvoyant, not the best. We need somebody with some power control uh, to manage that fight. And uh, then we've got Mojo. If asked, I would take him with Nick Fury. Uh, Terax in the right, lower right-hand corner there. Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. Uh, and then we've got Darkhawk. And uh, pretty much anyone that I have can do it. Um, it would just be really annoying. You, you kind of want somebody that can shut down evades or something like that. All right, so uh, we're gonna jump in here. I'm gonna bring in my Black Widow Clairvoyant, my Warlock, uh, and my Nick Fury. All right, and let's see how it goes. All right, so I mentioned that my Alliance is in a state of flux. The best laid plans of mice and men often come to naught. If you know that quote, leave a comment. Let me know if you know what that quote is, where it's from. But in any case, uh, as you saw, I went in with my standard team. However, I did not take path two. As I was going to take path two, you know, and I talked about it in the Alliance chat, I asked, I said, okay, I'm, I can take path two, but I need to know what we're going to be doing because I like to know, you know, so I can plan out what I'm uh, going to be doing. And they were like, wait, don't take path two. Um, can you take path seven? Now, I've never taken path seven before. So I am like, okay, I don't even know if these guys are going to be good for this path, but let's try it. All right. So uh, long shot is annoying. One of the things that I try not to do is I try not to uh, push him to a special two. That just seems like a good way to get wrecked. Okay. Um, it's very, very annoying, but you know, you want to bait out his special ones if at all possible. But as you see, 
on this node, he gained a lot of power. Look at that. That would have been a death. That would have been it. Right there, done. But Nick Fury. Only reason that we survived is because of Nick Fury. So right off the bat, the real Nick Fury had to come out. Okay? Uh, he gained a lot more power than I was, you know, expecting him to. But that's because of the node. Okay? Uh, very unfamiliar, still. But we got through section one. We only had that one fight. But... Then we come to section two. All right. Now, I wasn't messing with anyone in the middle. Um, I usually don't. I was asked to, uh, if I could at least move to um, Spider-Ham. So you see, I moved to Spider-Ham uh, and used up my energy, came back. The guy who took Spider-Ham, he boosted and then just went and cleared Spider-Ham and his path as well. All right. So in section two, we've got hit monkey now mainly the way that i fight hit monkey is i try not to knock him down okay now we do have the real nick fury out that we could use we've got spite i hate spite with a passion let me explain why because i don't like long fights now these fights aren't going to be really that long but when you have spite you have to either play very quickly, get them down fast, or you have to wait it out. That's if you have a buff. Now, of course, even if you don't bring a champion that has buffs, you have the dexterity mastery. You're going to dex, get a buff, there's spike. Okay? Um, but as you saw, the real Nick Fury tore him up. The fight was over almost before it started. Okay, so that went extremely well. And then we've got this guy here. Aspect of Evolution, Kinetic Transference 2, because we're in a lower tier uh, war. It gets harder. It gets to uh, Kinetic Transference, uh, I think, 3 um, in the higher tiers. But I was not prepared for this fight. Okay, that Kinetic Transference, even at this level, look at this. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to go all the way to your special three? And so I tried to evade this as best I could. Okay. And then I just got hit. I don't know why. I Just after I evaded it, I kept looking. I'm like, was I stunned? What's, what's going on? You know, so I'm just like, you know what? I am done with this fight already. He's got me in the corner. Looks like he doesn't want to fire his special off. Let's just do as much as we can to him. Boom. And then call it a day. I was really salty after this. Okay. Um, you can see I just quit out of the fight. I don't need to see his special three animation or anything like that. Went right back in. But, you know, I'm sitting here. I'm just like, I don't like this path. Um, but we could have done uh, much better. Okay. That, that fight, you know, if I had been, you know, familiar with fighting a Punisher 2099 on that node, uh, it, it would have gone much better. Nick Fury would have been a, a better option, um, especially if he still had the life model decoy. Then you just go ham, eat a special three, and just keep going. They'll usually be gone before they can get a special, uh, a two special threes, okay? So that was my path, but we actually do get some boss action. Now, you see that domino over there. So, fast forward. They've cleared all the minis here. And they had an attempt on domino. Uh, I don't remember how many attempts there were. But it's domino. She can kill you without touching you. Even if she has 1% of her health left. Okay? So, I'm just like, alright. I already died once this war. And this is domino. If you've been with me for a while, you know what I feel for Domino when I'm fighting her anyway. I don't like her. We have a hate-hate relationship. And I have a warlock who is in his prime made to fight Domino. Now, this Domino, of course, is stun immune, which doesn't give you a problem if you know how to fight her. Okay, you see how... I wait till she dashes at me, and I dash back and jump right back in. That's what you want to do with Domino. 
she cannot recover her double medium attack fast enough to evade your attack okay so you see here boom that's that's it very very easy once you get it down okay and of course uh warlock he's not gonna go unlucky so we're just having ourselves a ball okay um i probably could get the solo against her i don't know um for sure but with warlock i probably could uh if i don't mess up that is all right but we finished her off and the nice thing about it is that we still got an attack bonus so like i said i don't know uh, if it was one attempt or two attempts, but we did get an attack bonus, okay? So uh, that's it for the war. We'll be right back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So the first war of the season is a win. Even though my alliance really is in a state of flux right now, uh, we were able to get this first win. And as you can see, this is a tier four war. So I believe just in tier three, uh, things get a little bit more fun. You know, I've fought at tier three uh, before, um, but I'm hoping I won't be on path seven. But if I am, uh, I already know uh, the team that I'll probably bring. And I might actually revive an old favorite as well as bringing in someone like Magic, who currently is at rank four, but if I have to stay on path seven, I'll rank up Magic to uh, rank five. Uh, she would be great for that second uh, section in path, uh, on um, section two, path seven. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.